Good day. Uh, my name is Anthony Walker. I'm CEO of Decipher. Mining rehab really commences before any activity happens on the site. So there's a lot of planning. Um, mining operations go through a number of stages before they actually start actively mining resource out of the ground. So our story can start there, but in many cases our, our journey will start once operations uh, start shutting down. It covers a range of activities, um, focusing on repairing the environment to what it was before mining land use. Also looking at post-mining land use options. What can we do with the land after mining? And there's some opportunities in there to change the form. And certainly the signs out of Australia is that um, they genuinely can be brought back to growing and producing uh, post-mining land use, which is really, really exciting. Rehabilitation, the conversation around rehabilitation is really important to have through that process so that you get towards a rehabilitation asset that everyone understands, everyone is working and striving towards and is benefiting uh, the communities after the mining operation packs up and moves away. In terms of challenges, uh, one of the main uh, uh, items that we see is around just the pure volume of monitoring. There's lots of obligations that are set out for, for mining customers. They have quite a lot of effort required in order to meet those obligations. And it's that pure volume that needs to get managed, collated, reported. And, and we believe that Decipher in particular can really help that efficiency in that specific area about uh, helping and, and managing that volume. Environmental obligations and compliance generates and produces a massive amount of data. And it's in that data space that I think Decipher and, and tools such as Decipher can start really playing a role by providing insights and proactively providing reminders uh, through tasks and actions for individuals to make sure they're complying with those obligations. So it's about reaching into that data, it's about looking at that data and it's about adding, adding value to that data such that a client is able to make uh, accurate decisions and timely decisions. In terms of monitoring and, and monitoring compliance data, storage of that information digitally has been around for a very long time. And I think if we look at the journey of a, a data set from when it needs to be generated to the results and the analysis of those results, you realize there are some key areas through that process where insights are invaluable. Looking at that data, seeing if it's exceeding standards, uh, either national or international standards, or uh, uh, compliance standards for a particular mining operation, and then doing something about it. So the actionable outcome uh, for those exceedances, either a report or an investigation or uh, our balls on the ground to go and see why it's out of compliance is, is a key area to, to get in. After that, assembling, generating and correlating reports for regulators, for operators, for third parties and other interested and affected stakeholders is, is part of it. And more than ever, being able to deliver that data to people around the operation quickly and easily so that they can understand the context for that information, I think are really, really key areas that a monitoring solution needs to focus on. The other area that over, over the years that has become even more apparent and, and, and more critical in, in understanding operations is, is the visual component. And that's kind of a key differentiation point that uh, Decipher's environmental monitoring is, is starting to pick up. We're using satellite, we're using aerial, we're using drone-based imagery, as well as the monitoring time data series that's, that's generated um, uh, through the process. And that gives you that whole complete picture um, about uh, what's happening on that site. And again, it's about not making the data more complex, it's actually about simplifying that data, making it easier for the individuals on site to look at it, interpret it, and pass it back to the right people at the right time. In order to be a leader in this space, I think it's about looking at the modern trends, it's about looking at progressive rehab. There's been legislative changes in and around Australia around progressive rehab, which is changing thinking. I've spoken to a lot of C-suite uh, individuals around Australia and internationally, and really it's about getting that rehab thinking very, very early in conceptualising a mining operation. I think following best practice, of which there are many, and also involving communities in this discussion really early on is, is critical. And we're seeing that through a, a number of mechanisms, CRC, uh, time bid being, being one of those. In Decipher, the ability to integrate data wider than just pure monitoring uh, information is critical. So the stakeholders module uh, within Decipher brings that information back once again to a map, 
So you're able to get this thousand foot view um, of the operation um, and particular stakeholders, but also look at all of the engagement that you need to schedule um, and all the engagement that you have done in the past. Very quickly you can then see that on the basis of observed data from monitoring and also satellite imagery um, to see if there's any impacts that maybe you need to engage further with those stakeholders. So capturing it, recording and reporting that stakeholder information in Decipher is pretty critical to get that overall holistic picture about the engagement. CRC Time is Transitions in Mining Economies. It's a 10-year bid, $60 million, funded from federal government and also project participants, of which there are over 70. The idea is to look at mining rehabilitation. Off the back of recent mining booms, the number of projects, the number of abandoned mines, we really need to have a dedicated research with practical outcomes a program of works in place and the CRC time is reaching towards that. It encompasses academic institutions, it encompasses uh, communities, it encompasses mines and it also encompasses uh, METS providers like Decipher to all work on this program over a long period of time. Getting those transformations in mining economies is, is pretty critical uh, for Australia and for Australian operations. So we'll be providing key information technology tools such as Decipher in the CRC time bid as a METS category supplier uh, yeah, into, into this program of works. Uh, we will also be looking at uh, picking up some of our satellite and LIDAR based um, uh, tools and technologies uh, to specifically look at mining uh, rehab issues that arise as part of the research. And for us it's about collating and providing access to a large swath of data that's going to be generated. So our uh, capability within Microsoft Azure, uh, Google Earth Engine will all be leveraged to help the research and the bodies of knowledge that are going to be poured into it with, with large volumes of data. So systems like Decipher are able to give us a macro micro view, which is a concept I like talking about. Macro view is, is really about satellite kind of level capture of information and then micro is is the ability to then hone in on those areas of concern with different technologies or, or, or different ways of acquiring information and really getting to understand those. Decipher is doing uh, quite a lot of work in the landform side of things. We've been doing a fair amount of work on waste rock dumps in Western Australia, particularly looking at things like gully erosion and automatically calculating volumes out of that gully erosion after rainfall events. So looking at what levels of precipitation can start causing an impact on those waste rock dumps, how big those volumes are getting, and also tracking who needs to go and fix them and uh, mitigate those, um, those changes in size. I think using uh, LiDAR and, and tools like that is, is pretty important in making sure that we are as efficient and as safe as possible. We can get a lot of that work done remotely from one LiDAR mission and then having people going out with tape measures um, and doing it that way. I think the macro and micro concept also exists in the agronomist space. You can use um, NDVI to look at your fields and, and, and pastoral areas, zone down into, into key areas, use plant and soil sampling to understand on the ground what's happening and then treat with the right fertilizer at the right rate at the right time. So I think that micro and micro is, is not strictly just a mining thing. We can apply that obviously to a number of different areas, including waste and waste sites. I think that's really exciting and, and something that the Decipher team is going to be looking at going forward.